Very quick unboxing for you. Um, bought one of these uh, fabric cages bottles. I've had one before, I don't think I did a review on it, but I thought I'd show you what's involved with these now. Um, so, this is an interesting bottle because it's uh, you don't need to have a water cage on your bike to use it, which is advantageous and advantageous. So, with my Venge, uh, obviously, a water bottle is not very aerodynamic. I got one of the aerodynamic bottles on at the moment but it's not very good for a day and it's only good for a short ride so for longer rides I need a bigger bottle but I don't want to carry an ugly looking bottle cage around unnecessarily so I think this is probably the best solution for it because all you do is screw two little posts onto the frame and click this in position which I'll show you later um, so let's have a look at the packaging cages water bottle mounts directly to your bikes this is a three, uh, three quarters of a litre model uh, it comes with four bolts and four studs, so you can put it on multiple bikes, which is one of the advantages of it. Um, as you see here, you screw these two little studs into your frame and the bottle slides over and helps securely by these two like V-shaped rippers. Uh, our revolutionary award-winning cageless water bottle completely does away with an existing bottle cage mounting by direct dyslexic strikes completely does away with a cage by mounting directly to your existing bottle bosses lightweight studs are secured removed unnecessary parts and improved the clean lines of your bike suitable for all types of cycling complete with two sets of studs okay let's have a look i'm guessing the studs inside actually let's have a look at inside one of the good things I look for in water bottles is I always look for something biteable and chewy. I really hate the idea of damaging my teeth on a cheap, cheap water bottle. I'm like, what's the, what are your front teeth worth? <laughs> if, if you got like a really hard plastic thing and you hit a bump, well, this is in your, uh, a hard plastic one, you could pull them out of your mouth. So I always look for something rubber and chewy. Like, um, it might not last a year or two, but you know, it lasts. <laughs> at least your teeth are safe. Um, so this is a nice sort of bite push pull valve uh, inside the bottle are the posts so let's have a look at these I'm gonna put these on the bike and show you what they look like but yeah these little tiny mushroom type shaped things and what the bottle secures itself against and I'll show you closer in detail in a bit okay let's go down to the workshop and show you what that looks like installed on the bike so installing the fabric bottle is really easy. You grab uh, these little mushroom type things and the bolts they supply. And you bolt them on the frame here and here. Uh, let me cut away and show you that. So pop the bolts through the mushroom shaped things and just snug them down. Be fairly easy. The little mushrooms done up. So on my bench, this is good. So my primary water bottle is going to be this Chronos uh, CX Chrono Chron no, Chronos Star Trek Chrono CX. That bolts in here. It's an aerodynamic one. But if I'm going on a long ride or a bigger ride, multiple hours, this is a 750mm fabric one. So the idea is. All day, anything over an hour riding, we use this one. We just keep it on the frame. Long rides, we take this one and this one. So this cleans up the down tube. Because as you can see, the down tube on the Venge is really skinny on the Mark One Venge, so it's super aerodynamic. But as soon as you plonk a big water bottle on there, it's not going to work at all. So with this one, aero. And this one carrying water and it just slides onto those bits like that. That's securely. Looks neat. Can't really complain, can you? Cool. Ah, I need to check if it works with a chrono. 
keep that. Okay, so this is my uh, long road water bottle storage solution. As you can see, it's really tight here. So what I had to do was I had to move uh, this uh, bottle cage up. It's got slots on the cage so you can adjust the height. So that's been moved as high as it can so that it just clears, only just clears the fabric bottle. Which is quite interesting. I wonder if you could get two fabric bottles and put them side by side, but oh well. I think it looks pretty neat. Come back a bit. Yeah. So there we have it. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. It comes with four of these mounts in total. So that's two bottle positions you can use it. So you could set up for two individual bottle positions and vary as you like. Or um, I'm gonna install these on my mountain bike and have a setup on that as well. Because you can, well, why have two sets? You can, uh, you can double this resource and use it on multiple bikes then. Plus it'll look cool on the mountain bike because it you know, gets rid of the ugly bottle cage which often is positioned in awkward places on the mountain bike. I'll set it up and show you. So I've just fitted the mounts to my Trek Remedy Race Shop Limited and I'm, as you can see this down here, and one of the questions is with this 750ml bottle will it fit in that gap there? And I think it will, so let's try it by first time. Yeah, perfect. So it's a good option for like these aggressive all mountain bikes. Well, it needs to be tested, I guess. I need to test this and see if it falls off riding trails. But yeah, it's a neat solution because bike parks or somewhere where you're doing up this completely clean looking bike without a goofy bottle cage on it. And so you go for a more mellow or longer day, like a trail center, a big uphill, you can just Click that on there and ride with a backpack. Pretty neat, I think. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching YouTube, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.